You ever been arrested? Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you lying on me? <laughs> yes, you are, Mommy. No, you, you pulled my hair first. Bad boys, bad boys. I watch it on the do. I watch it on the We're uh, first going to start out with some page ups. I think we have three of them. This is our usage. Y'all get a good look at them. Make sure uh, when you're doing your takedowns, uh, try to spare them any harm. Appreciate y'all being here. Biggest thing, guys, is let's be safe. We'll get everybody uh, we can, but be safe doing it. Uh, two days ago, he delivered uh, $60 worth of crack cocaine. He's okay. going to call them again and order up a yard. They've uh, made some deals in the past with uh, an individual over here. They've uh, called him up, and he's uh, there waiting for um, them to arrive now. They're going to do the deal. They'll give us the takedown signal, and uh, we'll take the uh, individual into custody. You guys ready? Okay, guys, it, it looks like uh, the target's pulled up in a white Pontiac instead of the blue Buick. He's uh, pulling up next to the detective's car now. It uh, looks like uh, Detective Morgan's out doing the deal. Oh, Car's right to the right of her. Okay, she's got it. There's the apprehension word. Let's get him. Driver, show your hand! Driver, show your hand! Get down! He's eating stuff! He's eating it! He's eating it! He's eating it! Get him over there, Get it out! Turn it out! You need a little taste of OC? Spray him! Spray him! Give me the other hand! Here. Give me the other hand! Oh, look at here. Yeah. That's Linda's money, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're going to smell. Huh? It's marijuana? Yeah, it's marijuana. Powder. What else you got in here? Did he tell you he was coming for a cell duck? You see it? How much, huh? did, how much did he have? I don't know what he had, sir. Like I said, he came to pick me up, and he said, I'm going to go over here to Randy Court real quick. You know what you're being arrested for? Yes, you just sold drugs to the police. How much How much of it did you ingest? You got some out of the I didn't even huh? know what to say. No, you, you tried to swallow drugs on it. We, we took some out of your mouth. How much did you get down? That, that, that's that's going to be a real health, health concern for you. I'm saying, you see, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did. I mean, you sold drugs, we recovered drugs, and we recovered some out of your I mouth. How much did stick out your tongue? Well, when he pulled up, he handed me this piece. I started to hand him $100, and I said, come on. I said, that's not enough. Then he handed me, he handed me this, the next piece. So I went ahead, and I was still arguing with him that wasn't enough for $100. So I still went, made the exchange. By then, I already took the takedown. You see, he's uh, already uh, coughing up evidence, so to speak. Y'all did a good job. Good job on the takedown. Let's go get another one. Hey, if you get there before me, make sure you call. Hey, blue truck. Okay. All right, what you gonna be? A red aluminum. All right, bye. Red aluminum. A red aluminum. He's pulling on the first block uh, to the right. The guy pulled up, and uh, he wants to do the deal about a block away. We're going to try to uh, readjust ah, our takedown cars, and. Uh, Okay, they're in the middle of the deal right now. Look at it, baby. That's the best stuff you can get. You got any more get. pieces? Yeah, you just more. brought what you wanted, you know what I'm saying? Stay in the car. Stay there. Passenger side. I got him. I got him. I got him out. I got him out. Very all right. Yeah. Looks like got him in custody. What happened? Well, when we come at, came around the corner, he was outside of the car doing the uh, the deal. He saw us come in, and uh, he jumped to get in his car. He went to leave. I wanted to try to block him, and he hit my car. And then uh, he put it in reverse, and uh, we bumped him again. Right. Have you ever done this before? No. First time? How would you know them? How'd you know the detectives you sold to? Just got the phone now. Hey, how come you ran, man? Just nervous, man. Nervous? You know it was the police? You knew you screwed up? Well, he, he, what, what were you thinking? Just trying to make some quick money for my baby. Trying to make some quick money for your baby? Today you sold to uh, some undercover detectives. And uh, you'll be spending some time in jail. All right? Hey, hey, let me, all right, all right, all right, hey, check it out. When you leave work, 
how long it gonna take you to get home and then and then get your pool stick and meet me? Detective Morgan just made another call. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know what kind of car he's coming in. She don't know who. Oh, she got the uh, number from a prostitute. So right now, uh, you know, we don't have a clue. But um, we'll make it work like all these other by bus. Y'all ready to go? Yep, yes, sir. All right, they'll head out. All right. Okay, we're headed up uh, Beach Boulevard. We got our UCs talking to some bad guys in the parking lot of a liquor store right up here, right up ahead of us. And um, they're talking to them right now, doing the deal. All right, guys, move in. Move in on them. Jack. Bravo 255. Here we go, we're running out. Come on. Come on, get out! Oh, oh, back off him! Oh. Back off. You are, you are, you gonna back off. Cuff him up. Hey, we want a company? Yeah, we got him. You gonna stand him up? Yeah, roll over. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Hey man, I'm Sergeant White. What, what's going on tonight? Why are you running? Do you know you just sold the 200 cover detectives? But listen, uh, I guess you're mute. But you're going to jail tonight for selling crack cocaine to the police. You messed up. Could have got yourself killed out here running like that. About ran into our car. He was actually honest. You know, I, I had this is what he sold me, and I said, this is for 100 for you know yard. He said, nah, you good people, I'll sell it to you for 80. I said, all right. Okay. So I phoned him with the money, gave it, and uh, started giving the takedown. And that's when he saw somebody. And uh, he runs and he starts shedding some clothes. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna wrap it up tonight. Uh, Y'all did a good job. We got three cars, got four heads. Uh, you know, they're all players. So, uh, it, you know, it's been a good night for a couple hours worth of work. I work uh, in the Passaic County Sheriff's Department, which is about 30 minutes away from the city. It's uh, New York City, that is. It's about, uh, it's in northern part of New Jersey. Uh, Sheriff's Department takes care of the uh, courthouses, the jail complexes, and we have a uh, patrol division, which I'm assigned to. And uh, currently, we're in the, uh, close to the Alexander Hamilton uh, Housing Projects. It's a uh, well-known drug distribution center. Uh, a lot of drugs come out of here, so we'll be in the area for a little bit. Stop any suspicious vehicles uh, that we see here. If there's anything that comes out or around that sticks out, uh, I'll be stopping on the Maryland Dive Extension. I'll be stopping his vehicle. He failed to uh, stop at the stop sign at East 35th and 22nd Avenue. That's out of Garfield. Check him out. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh -huh. All right. Huh? I can't hear you, bud. Excuse you? Excuse you for what? No, no, I thought, you, I thought you were yelling something to me when you were getting out the car. Huh. I'm just coming back. Uh, step out. Huh. Come here, bud. I don't want to get crushed by the uh, trees there, you know what I mean? No. Stand there for me. Turn around, look at me. Relax. I don't have my wallet on me, sir. Huh. Right, you got anything in your pocket you're supposed to have? No. no so I'm going to let you know right now? I have absolutely. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Four black males that ran up to your car. We got that already. So whatever you have for me, listen to me. Turn around. Look at me. Whatever you have, whatever you have, just put it right there next to your phone, all right? What's your first name again? Corwin, sir. Corwin? Yes. All right. Listen to me. What do you have? You don't have anything? 
I do have stuff on me. Okay, so. what do you have? I bought a bag of crack. One bag? No, two bags. Two bags of crack? Yes. Right. All right, no problem. Just have a seat there for me, all right, bud? Hey, two different color baggies, too, huh? Where are you from? Garfield? How long have you been smoking crack for? Um, on and off. Um, I have no clue, sir. Two years, three years? Um, well, just recently, I've been going through a lot of aggravation with my girlfriend. Uh -huh. And I just got out of rehab recently. Okay. Okay. Like, these past two weeks, she's been hounding me and disturbing me about all things. And she kind of caught on my habits a little bit. I just got out of rehab. I just had a son a year ago. And that's a way to I have, start off the year, right? I have a, a, very, a very crappy job. You know, my, I'm the only one working. She's always hounding me for money and all sorts of stuff. How do you smoke? You have a crack pipe? No. How do you smoke it? Well, out of a can. Out of what? A can. A can? That's the first one. I've seen people put ashes on the can and... Bro, you can't be doing this high on crack. I, I had a bad accident today at work. Like I said, my girl's been driving me to Yeah, but this I'm ain't no, you know, know, this ain't no reason to smoke crack. I know, I know. I know that. You know what I, I mean? I, I just felt like I had like a, I just had like an urge. I wasn't thinking straight today. After today, I haven't been drinking, thinking straight all of this week, so, sir. All right, listen. With everything that's been going on. I'm just gonna on. get charged with possession on a summons, all right? Am I gonna have to go to court for that? Yeah, you gotta go to yeah. court, of course. I'm not gonna lie to you, all right? Am I gonna lose seeing my son for that? No. Well, you gotta straighten up, bro. You went to rehab once. What are you doing? How old's your son? Uh, 13 months. 13 months, a year old, bro. You gotta think of this stuff. Come on. How old are you? 29. 29? You should know better, bro. I know. You should know a lot better than that. Come on. I, I, I kick myself in the ass. I do. You really should know better. What, you're gonna take me with you? Yeah. You're gonna get released from headquarters. Okay? All right. Simple possession. Hey, bud, we can't just dump bags and say, hey, have a nice day. Hopefully you'll learn something from this. We have kids also, you know? All right? All right? No, you're not. No, you're not. All right, we're gonna park this car for you. When my girlfriend finds out, I'm gonna end up getting kicked out of my house. You're gonna tell her? I'm gonna have no choice, but. You're gonna have no choice but to tell him. Come here. Just put your hands in back, all right? You got nothing else on you, right? Nothing. No sharp objects, nothing on you? All right? All right. All right. All right, like the corporal explained to you, it's a simple charge. Let's go with it. We're gonna park your car for you, okay? Let's go. Step through my car. Lighter? Keep this lighter with a cigarette. There you go. All right, I'm gonna be taking him in, two bags of crack. Okay. I'm gonna write him on a, a summons, and also he's gonna be charged with uh, CDS and a motor vehicle. All right, very good. All right, I parked his he vehicle. From? He's from Garfield. Okay. So, right. what are we gonna do? Very good. All right? Very good. All right, thanks, man. My kids, they don't seem to worry about me. I'm sure that they do, but I don't, I don't think they understand at this point how dangerous this job is. My daughter actually has me write a little journal of, of interesting calls I get. They go to school until the other kids at school. She adds stuff to it, of course. Um, just the other day, she wrote. She wrote. A, I had a story about a, a guy that had shot a snake, and I told her that. She thought that was the coolest thing, and she wrote a long story about it. And my son, he wants to be a police officer. He says. We're en route to a call where a, a complainant called the police to advise her 15-year-old daughter has beat her up. Um, the operator that took the call, the 911 operator, said that it was a violent background. I heard a male in the background trying to detain the, the 
juvenile, so apparently she, the, she's trying to leave the scene and we're arriving on the scene right now, the area, see what's going on. Call the police. What can I do for you? She told me she was going to a birthday party. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing you know, her boyfriend's calling here, the one I told you about. Hi. Yes, ma'am. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh, so you're going to this birthday party to meet Dan? Oh, no, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, okay, I go in the house, finish eating, come out. I said, who are you talking to? She said, none of your business, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to tell you everything she said. None of your business. So I take the phone away from her, and he was standing right there because he followed me out here, and she started pulling my hair. Pushing so that, and kicking. Yeah, pushing and kicking. Did she kick you? Yes, I got scratch marks yeah, there. I got right marks there. there. She tried to bite me yeah, right she there. She pulled the hair out of my head. I got I a bruise on my leg. I probably had a self-defense. I swear to God. Did it. you see what happened, sir? Yes, I did. Okay, if you can step over here, let me yeah. talk to you a second. I swear to God. Can you tell what happened over here? They were standing right there. She mm -hmm. told her to give her the phone. Mm -hmm. And she and wouldn't give her the phone. So she grabbed the phone. That's all she did. Mm -hmm. And she was calling her bitch, slut, mm -hmm. whore, and everything. All right. Pulling her hair, kicking her. All right. Yeah. OK. Did she hit her back? or? No, she no. didn't. And then uh, they went in the bedroom, and she was just holding her down. She was pulling her hair and everything. OK. Cole okay. Was pulling her and who hair. are you to her? I, well, I'm like stepdad. You have the stepdad. You live here in the, in the family, in the yeah. household? Okay, I appreciate it. And you're, where are you injured at, ma'am? I got scratch marks there. I got okay. marks there. I got where she tried to bite me. Well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. She tried to bite me. Okay. I got, well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. Okay. And she's sitting there calling me a bitch, slut, tramp, whore, you name it. And all I did was hold her down. Okay. I'm like, who are you talking to okay. your mother like this? Okay. There's the other cop that was here. Um, no, 10, 15. Came and got me. Yeah. At, Let me see where I was at. Let me get to your post. Turn around for me. I promise I didn't. Turn around for me. Oh Turn around for me. I promise I didn't hit you first. I promise I didn't hit you first. Mom, I didn't hit you first. You oh, my hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Sor
you, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you'll feel bad for and you'll, you'll want to drop charges or something like that. Oh, that no. that's, not, that's, not the, that's not the good thing to do because by, by us arresting her, we're not, we're not trying to, to hurt her or, or have her put in jail. We're oh. trying to get her help for you, okay? Believe we're trying me, to get her help for her problems and, and help you. Believe okay? me, I'm not going to feel any different in the morning. Okay. And I, I spoke to her, but I've tried to get her help before, and there's nothing I can do right. because she's asked me, you know, have you ever, has she ever been in trouble? See, that's the problem. She's never been in trouble. Right. Yeah. Well, this is a good thing. Now, now she'll go in front of a judge. A judge will see her, see her face, and he, he'll be able to court order her into programs. Okay. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you very okay. much. My favorite part of the job is we've located somebody, maybe a victim's car. They've reported their car stolen, we locate the suspect, and we get into the high chase, and we catch him. And it all ends like the good movie where the bad guy goes to jail, the victims and everybody else are safe at home. It's the best part of the job. A gentleman called. He got into an argument with his girlfriend. Apparently, his girlfriend beat him up. He's refused rescue, but he wants the police to come, and she's still at the apartment, and they're supposedly still arguing. We're going to go over here and see what they're arguing about and what else is going on with her and him. Where is she? She's still here. Is your girlfriend here? Yeah. What happened? OK, I just come home, back home before and inside I want I use the bathroom from the bathroom I come I show I see like like this I saw in the sleeping room she like sleeps with the baby I said okay I come back you know to the living room I smoke cigarette I sitting on the table she come back she walked to the kitchen from the kitchen she come back she cut off the the light, not the light, no, the... The fan? The fan, yes. She cut off. I says, what you cut off that? You know? She says to me, if you cut on again, I'm going to cut off. Let's get to the point where Okay. You need What's us. going next? She tried to push me. Okay. She tried to hit me. See this here? Uh -huh. That's from her. I think here, too. Okay. She pushed me right there, here, too. I says, just go ahead. Okay. Do what you want to do. Okay. Calm you know? down, calm down. I, listen, I listen go to me. Out. Let me ask you a couple okay. questions, okay? okay? Okay. Is she your wife? Are you married to her? Uh, no, girlfriend. We Just have girlfriend? A, yeah, we you, have you a have baby. A, the, the, yeah. You have a mutual child? The child belongs to both of you? Yeah. Okay. See, still, I be not going to check the bloods. I says, that's my baby. Okay. Okay. I take care of her. How long have you guys been living here together? About three years. Why don't you just wait down here and we're going to go talk to her, okay? Mm hmm. Did you ask me if she had any weapons because of no, the last I didn't ask statement? Me. Sir, does she have any weapons? No. Okay. She is by herself and the baby in there. Oh, you got to use that. Probably running out the back door. No, she's coming to the door. Hey. Hello. Hey. Come in. Oh, an American flag. How are you tonight? So, so, so. What's going on? You and your boyfriend. And he's too much drinking. Before, maybe 20, 30 days, I don't know. We have black people fight, too much fight, I have pictures. He coming, I have a soup and everything. Last night, too much drunk, drunk, too much talk to me. And coming, maybe, I don't know where he's going. I'm not talk to him. Where he's going? And maybe bar, I don't know. He coming, sit down and music and that's his name, Sammy. And Sammy, oh, please touch me. I'm look at, excuse me, I have a baby for you. I have it, this, out. What, out. So you just grabbed it and tried I to put him out? I push it, closed door, there's beer, everything key. Does he live here? No. Yeah. This is his home? It's my apartment. And you're his girlfriend? Yeah. OK. It's my boyfriend. And that's his baby and, and your baby? And baby, yeah. OK, I understand. Ma'am, unfortunately, tonight, you're under arrest. 
Okay? So I need you to turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Okay? Okay. Do you understand? Right now you're under arrest because you've put your hands on your boyfriend. No. He lied. You told us you Relax put your me, hands okay? on Do you want him to watch the baby or do you want your mom to watch the baby? You have the choice. She lied, lied, lied. I don't know why I lied. I'm not like it. The Bosnian people. <laughs> Ma'am, right now, your sister's going to jail, okay? Oh, she's... she's going to jail. Um, she wants you to take care of the baby for the <laughs> evening. Okay. Yeah. She needs to show her where the food is to take for the baby. That's fine. Can you grab a pair of shoes for her? They're outside. Okay. We just need the baby I'll, food. I'll, I'll find it. I have the shoes right here. I'll just take okay. the baby first to my mom, then I'll come back. Can I just Are you going to be okay with him? Because he'll be here. Yeah, I'm okay with him. No problem okay. with him. Okay. Okay. I'm going to explain to him what's going on. Okay, sir. Right now, your girlfriend's going to jail. Okay, for the fight that y'all had earlier. Can I go to jail? We can't put you in jail instead of her because that's the way you want it. You've called the police here, so we have to do what the law says. Yeah, She's, I called the police. We can't put you in jail just because you want to go to jail and you don't want her to go, okay? What I can do is, is your, the sister is going to take the baby over to her mom's and then come back and get baby food for yes. the baby, okay? Yes. When she, she should get out of jail sometime tomorrow, maybe the next day. Okay? And then you guys are going to have to take it from there. Okay. But tonight, she's going to go to jail. Once we gathered all the information, we decided to, that she was the aggressor in the situation. We had to put her in jail because she had put her hands around his neck and tried to shove him out, even though in the past he might have been the start of the problems and the argument. Tonight, she did the violence. This job tends to be ever-changing. Every day you come to work, you never know what's going to happen. This job is one of the funnest things I've ever done. And we play cops and robbers growing up as kids. And some of us are fortunate enough to do cops and robbers as adults. Couldn't ask for a better job. Well, I just saw a car drive up into the canyon, into the hills here. And uh, this is off-road. It's an off-road trail, and no one's supposed to be up here, so I'm going to try and catch up to it and uh, find out what it's doing. These roads are are off-road, off off-limits to most of the patrol people, but to the criminal element, they think they can use these roads to get away from us by coming up here and joyriding their stolen cars or doing their dope or just hiding out from us. Three Edward 10. We have a Rubido unit 10 8. I need some assistance on a vehicle that just left. Heading over the hills towards 20th and Sierra. Yeah, firm. It was coming off the canyon and uh, saw me turn around and is making its way over to the other side now. Copy that. 10, it's going to be a blue Chevy truck. Two three nine five five. And confirm towards twenty eighth and Sierra. Yeah, for a moment on the front of the road that stopped in front of me. Let me see your hands. Stay there, all right? Put your hands up. Open the door. Trainer, Mr. Yeah, it's coming out. I thought out. you were four by. Come on out. I'm serious. Come on out. Wait, let me put on my boots. No, leave your boots off. Dude, don't do this, all right? All right, all right. You on probation? No, I'm not. Parole? No, I'm not. Why'd you turn around? Because I couldn't get back out that way. Yeah, you could. You I saw my not. car. Come on out. No, I didn't. I saw you. Got anything on you? No, I don't. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. 
This is your car? Yeah, it's in my truck. You nervous? Yeah. You on probation? No. Parole? No. Ever been arrested before? Yeah. For what? Manslaughter. Then I copy on code four. I have the car stopped on the uh, Edison frontage road. What is that noise? It's my dinosaur, my daughter's dinosaur. I had a pipe. Yeah, you did. Where's your dope at? That's all I have. You're high right now. I could smell your breath. Sit down. Have a seat right here. Sit down. Right there. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Anything illegal in your car? Oh, it's not like that pipe. All right. Well, we did a vehicle stop down at the end of the at the end of the dirt road here, and while I'm on that vehicle stop, this car pulls out, sees my lights, turns around, and starts to go the other way, knowing that several cars are stolen and joyridden in this in this hilly area. We uh, made our way and caught this guy, pulled him out of the car, and he's sitting on a glass pipe, which is indicative of <laughs> smoking narcotics. I'm looking for the contents of the pipe, if they're in a, a baggy form or uh, something else. It seems like I've come across a little more than I anticipated. This guy has woman's underwear and all kinds of icky stuff. What's the matter, man? You okay? What are you scared of? Why? I don't want to be there. What's, what's in your car that would make you go back to jail? That bike. And what else? That's it. Why do you have the underwear? I, it's from all the girlfriends that I've had. And, really? And then I'm, I'm gay. Okay. Well, just don't, don't, don't cry over that. Be proud of that. What's up, man? What are you doing out here? Hey, you know what? His ID's right here on the, on the, the bed. Could you run him for me, please? Look at me, get your pants unzipped, man. You been busy? Something like that. Something like that? Here we go. It's just a little bag of speed. But that's what he was doing up here. This goes with that. And that's why he's upset. And that's why he doesn't want to go back to jail. Marco. Yeah. You got anything to say? <laughs> Were you pulling my leg with what you told me earlier? Or is that the truth? That's the truth. OK. All right. Um, you know this stuff's bad for you. I know that, but... How long have you been using? <laughs> Almost a year. Just one year? And you're from Fontana. You're up in these hills. You saw my lights. Yeah? You got scared, turned around and ran away. All right. Well, you're under arrest. And you go to jail in Riverside, okay? You want to talk to me about this? Yes? What is this? Meth. Meth? Did you break the pipe on purpose or an accident? On accident. I bet you were pretty upset when you broke it, huh? No. no? How long ago did you use? Like maybe two hours ago. Just two hours ago? Didn't think you'd get caught when you used it, did you? Most people I don't. I get caught. You did? I knew I was going to get caught. Why don't you stay home? I've been fighting with my wife. Oh, uh, does she know you use speed? Yeah. Is that why you're fighting with her? Yeah. Oh. What's the status on my man here? Um, he's not wanted, but he is DL is suspended. Okay. FTA. They didn't know okay. why. Out of San Bernardino. All right. Um, would you give me a hand in taking him down to the street? Absolutely. And we're gonna book him in for the narcotics. Right on. The uh, woman's panties. He says he's of an alternative lifestyle and, you know, that's his preference, but the, uh, the paraphernalia is indicative of narcotics users. Marco, dude, next time you decide to do dope, you'll think twice, won't you? Yeah. Well, hopefully you learned your lesson. Have you? Yeah. I hope so. I hope so, man. While you're inside, you need to get some counseling and try and get into a, a drug rehab program. Clear yourself of this problem, right? Yeah. Take it easy, brother. I love being a police officer here. This just, in the area that I work in, there's a lot of good people here, but there's a lot of people trying to take advantage of the good people here. And so it's, uh, it was described to me once as like fish in a barrel sometimes. And 
Sometimes it is. If you if you want to find uh, something to get into, if you want to find a bad guy, you don't have to look very long or very hard. We're going to try to catch this car. It was uh, parked on the wrong side of the road running, and high beams were on. It's a Chevy. It's an indicator it might be stolen, so we want to get up here and check it out. Stay in the car. Get back in the car. I'm gonna drive a no. Yes, I do. Where you take it off to in such a hurry? No, I had parked on the wrong side of the street. Yeah, I know. I know. Go ahead and close it and roll your window down. I'll start over. How about you? You got a driver's license on you? No, ma'am. So you don't, and you don't have yours on you either? Add 13. Come on, step out. Can we just put all the comments on your sheet? I'm just going to go back here for a second, okay? Yeah, I just don't yeah. want to chase you down the street, okay? Just be cool and everything will be fine. You don't got your driver's license and you're thinking a little too hard about who you are, okay? Put your hands on the back of your head and interlock your fingers. Interlock your fingers, man. Interlock your fingers. Spread your feet for me real wide, real wide. You got anything on you that's going to hurt me? Spread them real wide, man. You're tall. Hey, man, get back in that car. George, 15, start me some units, 3,500. Have a seat. I need him to get here. Copy Baker's. Come here, man. Okay, just come with me. Okay, just come on out here with me. Okay. I just told you to not take off running from me, okay? I went for the run nowhere. I'm well, I told you to stop. Okay, I'm missing. Come on over here. Okay, okay. I'm not I'm not trying to get in no trouble. I know trouble, you're man. not trying to, but I'm not going to chase you down the street, okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to highlight my offer. That's all I'm okay. trying to do. Okay, put your not... shirt on the trunk. Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Put Why? your hands what on. What did I do? Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Just for my safety, man. Just do it. Okay, will you please stop choking me? Just please? do it. Put your hands on your head. I'm... Spread your feet real wide. Listen, man, relax. I'm trying to, man. Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Give me your hand now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. All the way down. Okay. Give me the other hand. Oh, yeah. What did I do wrong? You're under man? arrest. How about that? Stay down. Nothing. I don't know what I did. That's all I want to know. What did I do? George 15, keep them coming. I had to fight. Stay, Stay just me, like man. that. Stay just like that. Every time you look around, I'm always. Oh, you gonna stay here till my sis gets here, and then we're gonna get up. Yeah, and we ain't fixing or do nothing. You're gonna do what I told you. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah, I be getting scared. Kind of like a special friend. You know what? You I'm not playing with you. I got them both in custody. This guy needs to be patted down real good. And I need to stick him in a separate car. I got the driver. I don't know why he tried to run. Hey, 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 hey. I run. Shut up. What's in his shirt? Okay. I was trying to run Shut up. All you had to do was what I told you to. You okay. think I'm stupid? You think it's the first time I've done this? Put him in your car. Okay. Sir, you don't, sorry, sir. You don't have to walk in there. You don't have to give my arm. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, man. Okay, I'm not. I'm I'm not. I'm not. Did you check him real good? Put my hands behind my back and I can go up there. I'm like, lift up. I'm sorry. All right, have a seat. Careful, we're going to can you pull my pants up, please? please 3,500. Thanks. I don't know who he is. I mean, are you all right? I mean, I'm sorry. Sit in the car, man. Do you want to tell me what all the fuss is about and why your buddy's wanting or why you're wanting to jump out of the car? Do you want to tell me what's going on? I wasn't trying. Man, I just went over that man's house looking for this dude's house. I couldn't find the house. I was just on the wrong side of the street. You know what I'm saying? I went. I just gave my job, my insurance. That's it. Okay. So why all the fuss about you know being on the wrong side of the road and not having your driver's license? What's all the, what's the fuss about? Okay, if you don't have a driver's license, people think you're lying. Okay, that's true enough. That's the only reason why. That's, that's why, the only, why is he acting like that? I don't know why he acting like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I was just nervous. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to cause no problem, no. Okay. Officer Scrat. Sir. 
210. All right, they, they checked the passenger. He does have a parole violation warrant outstanding at this time. Okay. So we got that for sure, and they, they've got a little bit of crack on the floorboard inside the car. So. Okay. You want to tell me uh, what this uh, big fight was all about? I wasn't trying to fight you, miss. I'm sorry. If, if I if I hurt you, I'm, if I try, I didn't, I didn't want to try to. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah, really, when real. you start the fight, that means you are trying to fight me, okay? I'm, I'm in sorry. uniform. You know I'm a police officer. Yeah, I'm just I trying to get... That's police. Well, I'm trying to get you to tell me what it, what all this is about, all this fighting with me. What, what was that about? Uh, no, I was just like... I, man, when you told me to put my hands behind my head, I was trying to do it. And I'm like schizophrenic. You start putting my shirt real close to my neck and I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't couldn't hardly breathe. Mm -hmm. This shirt was out. So it's my fault you're fighting. I'm gonna say that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I okay, well I'll tell you why that happened. One, this is not my first time making a traffic stop where somebody trying to run off from me, okay? That's why you I didn't I yeah you were. And that's why that's why you started to get handcuffed and that's why you're where you are, okay? I mean, that's why everything happened the way it did, okay? But you are under arrest, you got a parole violation yeah, warrant, and you're also going for resisting, okay? Watch your feet. Well, they're going to jail for parole violations, both of them. So, yeah. you never know what you're going to get on a traffic stop, that's and right. it should have been a big red flag when I couldn't get on the radio and call out, so. You always got to be ready for that. Yeah, I'm glad y'all got here, because if you'd been far off, I'd been in trouble. Yeah. All right, no problem. We're on our way to a wedding chapel downtown on a report of a fight. We've had a lot of problems with wedding chapels lately over at the courthouse. When you come out of the courthouse, you get your certificate, and then you're trying to get in a limousine to go get married. And you got about 10 different owners of different wedding chapels out here fighting for your business. And it's been getting pretty rough lately. So it's amazing. Only in Vegas do we have problems with fights at wedding chapels. It's right here in the front of the wedding chapel, three to four people. So we'll see. What's going on? You know, we own a wedding chapel. I know okay. exactly about the wedding chapel okay. feud. When is this wedding feud going to end? It's the between it's the, ended, I know it's between just, the three of these chapels. But all the other chapels every ended day. It. I know every day. You know you know the story better than I do. Every exactly. day there's fights. And I understand it. But I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is, we haven't had any fights down there in a long time. Okay. These two guys came back out. One girl, one guy came back out to the block and are causing problems. Nobody's caused problems. What is it that you want us to help you with today? Get these guys arrested for threatening me each and every time. A bomb scare, they're going to... I have a okay. I have a 7-year-old in the car and a 14-year-old. Okay. And he told me that he's going to slice their throat. They're going to follow Who me home. Who are these two? In, they're two in the business in the wedding chapel now. They're not from this wedding chapel. This what wedding, wedding cha chapel's hiding them out. They're from the wedding chapel. They're, what are they going to yeah, say? Yeah, they got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hasn't heard that. He's got to get him. Yeah. He he's probably 440. And, Walk uh, to the front of my car, man. I guess there's another guy. They were hiding him. Right by the license plate. Spread your feet. They were hiding him? Yes. You pat him already, did we? Uh, yeah, they were. Because I went inside and asked Why are you hiding inside the, the chapel, chapel, man? Oh, There's inside no the chapel? Here. Yeah. And you are there. No, You're the hiding owner, in the chapel. Yeah, the owner was. You'd be the only one to tell you that. Because uh, we didn't know if they were going to try to get in the chapel or not. What do you got in here? Just a phone? Phone, lighter, His wife is eight Wait. months pregnant, got she's punched in the stomach down. allegedly, so she's coming back down here to do something. Why them. are we here? These guys started chasing me and my wife because we were out in the courthouse. Now we talk to them because they talk to us. And uh, she found out I had a warrant here in Las Vegas for a traffic ticket. She seen me earlier today and she won't come to me alone to talk all her. She wants to wait until she gets get her. Where my wife how right. do we get to the point of your wife getting hit? Because they were chasing us. Okay, I'll talk to her. Okay, calm down. Stand for right, my car. Good grief. Calm down. Hi, baby. <laughs> what is going on? They're chasing me right now. They have all their corks. Who is chasing Their limos. You? They got all their limos parked on all these side streets and they saw me and they followed me. Okay, so now you're here and they were chasing you from where? I had come from my chapel. I had called him on his cell phone. He said he was here. Okay. So I came down here. You need here. medical attention? Probably. Okay. Now, your husband was saying that you got hit by someone. When did that happen? 
that happened about a week and a half ago. So that's not that's not today. No, they okay. had chased us through the Fort Queens and me and my son. These parties here are all part of the feuding wedding chapels in downtown Vegas. One owner, the lady over here in the blue, owns one wedding chapel. The other people here work for a different wedding chapel, and they're all fighting for business, and it's just getting to be ridiculous. You know what? We used to work with Detective Pinch trying to get this thing all pulled up because she was a chapel task force, and these guys just don't stop, you know, because they think they won so far. And uh, yeah, that's the other car that was following me around. That car following you? They, yeah, they were following me. Yeah, BMW. They think they're mafia or something. So, uh, how are you connected with our little saga? Front of my car. How am I connected? Yeah, how did you end up here right now? I'm her husband. Cheryl? Cheryl. 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 What's your name? Craig. Craig. Now, these people are saying, Craig, that you have been chasing them around. Bridgefeet. You've been chasing them around. Uh, I don't know, I can kind of crazy someone said you also had a gun. So, well, how are you involved in this? How am I involved? I said I'm her husband. I own a wedding chapel on 200 West. Mm -hmm. This guy here has been calling my chapel, threatening us, saying he's going to come on the road, put bombs on there. He said tonight he's going to be down here at 8 o'clock to get us. And uh, we came down here. He was here, and I know, I know he has, I know he has, uh, Numerous of warrants and stuff. So and how would you know that? How come you're so involved because, in his business? Well, my after he's been bomb threatening us and everything. Bomb threatening you. And uh, right. telling us he's gonna kill me and all this kind of this stuff. Is my this is uh, Cheryl's husband, who's also involved. He was the ponytail guy that has probably punched this one on the ground. Okay. Oh, I, I punched him. I have no idea. You know, I wasn't here. I, so. I, <laughs> okay, we're done with him. Yeah. He was he might have been a suspect, it was a week and a half ago, and that's the end of that. Okay, what are we going to do with the um, pregnant lady who was kicked? She, didn't, she, she said she wasn't kicked, except for a week ago. She fell over the fence while she was trying to run away okay. from him. Oh, so, there's no battery. Okay. She's just going to get checked out. Kick him loose. Kick him all loose, guys, we're 40. All right, Thomas, here's the deal, man. We're going to... This is how we're going to wrap this up, okay? You got some warrant chain taken care of. You're going to go to jail tonight for him, okay? I mean, obviously, you knew that was coming. Yeah, I know it was traffic thing, yeah. Okay, so... What's the other thing? I guess uh, petty warrants. larceny and a traffic warrant. It's not the end of the... It's not, petty not the biggest thing, but you I got... I already went to court on that, like, six months ago. Okay. And they told me... If I'm I not the judge, and we're not in the court, okay? So I don't know. Do the electronic anyway. So we'll just do the electronic, and then you can wrap that up when we get, get okay. down there, all right? Fair enough? Hang tight. This has to stop. I am tired right, so am I. of this whole wedding, but the I wedding feud. I don't, I'm just saying to you, if I know. He, even he says the same thing, and each and every time it's the same sergeant that they... Have you called him and talked to him? Yeah, and he just tells me, he usually hangs up on me, he doesn't want to hear it. So. Okay. I mean, you know as much as I talked to you okay. when we talked to, yeah. when I talked to you nine exactly. months ago about the same problem. Okay. And so, I came right to you and said I got I know, issue. but I just, I, this has to stop. Okay. Yep, we don't have does. the manpower or the resources to be spending time on this all this wedding stuff. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Wedding chapels are supposed to be about love. What happened? All the fighting? Only in downtown Vegas. I started out on the Jacksonville Fire Department. It's a firefighter, actually. And uh, I don't know, I guess it wasn't challenging enough for me, so I decided to become a police officer. And I uh, started out uh, as a deer riding with a friend of mine, which was sheriff's office. And after that first ride, I just uh, was bit by the bug, and. I just had to become the police. And uh, I don't regret it. I've enjoyed every bit of it. And uh, every day is new and exciting. And uh, it's something I probably would, would do for free, even if they didn't pay me. I love it just that much. Right now, we're heading to a hot call. Call came in as a, a burglar alarm. Officer arrived, and there's a suspect breaking inside the place and we got them running behind the business up here. We're gonna get up here and get her some support and see if we can set up a perimeter and contain this guy. Which building is she at? Which building is she at? Probably 
Yeah. Where's he at? Give me a unit to the back of the building or the south end. Charlie 168, 1033. Get the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put that money back. Charlie one, Charlie one sixty eight. I got one in the back of uh, the old, I guess food line or where this place is, uh, down by forty fourth and Springfield. You're with him. Four units to the back here. We'll check the uh, building. You can check my DM of that pocket. You're eighteen. Clean. Clean. They're real. HQ, Charlie 168. I'm over here at uh, just west of the uh, gas pumps at 44 Springfield, one in custody. Sarge, if we can get a unit, go to the uh, south end and ensure we got everybody. Let's go ahead and get him up, get him put in the car. Go ahead and roll on your hip for me. Oh, clean. I, I ain't. Okay, go ahead. Seen. All right. We'll help you out, man. Go ahead and sit up for me. Go ahead and sit up for me. Ah. Ah. This way. Oh, yeah. I approve my ID in my back pocket. No. Oh. Boy, that shit because it's clean. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, I got his ID right here. 18 okay. years old. Clean. Did you get anything else on you that you shouldn't have? I, I wasn't doing nothing. Okay. What are you, what are you running Listen. from? Because the police just came. I just seen my friend Leonard. He told okay. me we're trying to break in Stepping Style. So your friend was trying to break in Stepping Style? His name Leonard. Okay, uh, where, Leonard where, where, where were you at during this time? I was coming from the train track. I just came from uh, Terrace. So what exactly did he tell you? He told me to come over here because he got something set up. And he was like with two little broads. So I figured it was a booty call. Okay. I come over here. He's running. He was like, run, run, because the police coming. I ran this way. I seen one car parked okay. right there. Okay, when I took our run. Now, where was he at when we told you to run? He was going that way. Y'all just chased him, Nina. The one with the, the cur um, shirt on looked like Freddy Krueger. Okay. The little, the little stripes on the shirt, blue, red, and all that. We got on black chucks. Let's do this here. Go ahead and have a seat till we figure out what's going on. Okay, you can run my idea. Yes, sir. We'll check you out. And I just saw you run out of the building, you and your buddy. So you yes, saw. sir. No, sir. So this guy here was inside the building when you pulled up? Your buddy was yelling at you when he ran by. I know, and I wasn't in there. OK. Yes, your story, and you're going to stick to it. But I just saw What's you up? come out. Tell, tell me, lineup. tell me, listen to me. OK, earlier. Be honest with earlier. me, tell me. I'm going to tell you straight up. Earlier. earlier, earlier, he came, OK, early, he got What's off his leg monitor. Today right there. Today, getting off his leg monitor. The guy with the oh. blue shorts on, or the other buddy? Just, just stand oh. right there. Today, the guy with the blue shorts, today was his day getting off the lead monitor. Okay. Um, he came by and see me. He had already told me he had something set up with two females. Okay. okay I was still at chairs talking to my old lady on the phone because we just got through arguing. This ain't what I, this, I ain't tell y'all all the detail, but now I'm telling the whole story. There's a lot of things you didn't tell me. Huh? Obviously, there's a lot of things you didn't tell me. I didn't tell you that I was talking to my old lady before I came right. over here. Tell me, okay. tell I, me I just the broke the story down. Okay. And you acting like I was all the way in the um, building. I was you, like. You were in. But I you wasn't. You come doing, out of the building. You seen me come out of there? Yes, sir. You positive. You just said you came out and admitted you came out. You just wasn't in there long. But you were saying like I was doing something wrong. I didn't I didn't even know what was going on. He just called me over here. That's why I was like, Did I'm innocent. Did you not just admit to me that you were just in the building just yes, not Yes, I long. said that. OK. But I wasn't in there. It's like you he were just called in me. There. This is what it was. This is how it happened. He called me. When I got around here, blum, y'all were chasing him. Right. That's when I stepped in and came right back out. Cause okay. he. By the time he took off running, I had just stepped in and so I was you taking a for him. Is that no, what it was? No, I, I came up on him because he was like, meet me such and such because I came down the train track. Okay. But when I got down hill, all I seen was police car because that's when I had stepped in and seen y'all chasing. Where's your other buddy at? Did he I don't, leave it was three. after you? I'm the third one. I'm the one they just called. Okay. One got blue shorts and the red um, blue shirt. That's Leonard. That's okay. my best friend. Just got off the lead monitor. That's the one I was talking about. Now the third one, I don't know. That's one of his friends. Did he come that's out something before you gotta or ask. after you? I don't know because mm -hmm. I was innocent. That's for sure. That's well, real. Okay. Me. That's why I let run my ID in, because I ain't got time to go. All right, we'll just sit tight till we get the bottom of this. <laughs> and the version he gave you, not the version he gave me. Yeah, he's definitely uh, mixed yeah. up on the stories. So you saw him coming out of the building. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good pop. Thank you.